I want to sure. start with your interview in The Spectator a couple of weeks ago in which you called on Australia's Jewish people to vote no in the voice referendum. You argued yes. in your article that the voice proposal is contrary to Jewish values, contrary to important lessons from Jewish history and presents potential serious specific adverse policy risks for our community. How, how so, David? Well, uh, and they're the, really the three main issues that you've, you've nailed. Um, whether one is uh, religious or not, whether you follow any faith or not, uh, sometimes you can look at uh, our long-standing um, Judeo-Christian uh, ethics and foundations of Western civilization, and you'll see um, good wisdom for society. One of the principles is that from a religious point of view, uh, all people are made in the image of God. What does that mean? Uh, it means that we should treat all people equally. Uh, it means all people should be regarded as equal value in a society. Now, the voice proposal as it stands uh, conflates a number of issues. It conflates recognition of Aboriginals as being the first people in Australia, and that you can't argue uh, that they were the first people of, in Australia, it's a matter of fact. But it uh, has built into it a special political leverage, uh, special political access to Parliament and to advise the executive government based on race. Uh, and no other racial group or ethnic group in Australia would have that particular mechanism, that particular leverage. So from a, the principle that all people are equal, uh, which is a foundation of uh, Judaism and I believe also a foundation of Christianity, uh, the voice is inconsistent. Mm. So that's the first issue you mentioned. Yep. Yep. Uh, the, the second one was the historical lesson. Yes. And um, one thing that the Jewish community can add to the debate is that perhaps more so than any other people, over uh, thousands of years, uh, Jewish communities have lived through societies that have had divisions by race or ethnicity, political divisions from the ancient uh, societies of the Roman Empire, which uh, conquered the Middle East, through to the modern incarnations like the Soviet Union or, uh, of course, the Nazism in the Second World War. Um, people were divided by religion or race or ethnicity. There is not one single historical example where that sort of division has been good for society. Indeed, it always uh, creates resentment at a minimum between the groups, yeah. and at worse, it creates major conflict. And then there's the third issue, which is, uh, I guess, specific to the Jewish community uh, or anyone who uh, values uh, Israel as the sole democracy in the Middle East. We've unfortunately seen uh, some of the inner city Aboriginal activists who are quite extreme. Uh, extreme politically, and hand in hand with that seems to be a hostile attitude to Israel. Uh, so in what they called Invasion Day protests on 26 January this year, we have photographs from a couple of those protests where you won't see an Australian flag, you will see an Aboriginal flag, and you'll also see a Palestinian flag. Uh, what the hell has a Palestine got to do with uh, the 26th of January? Absolutely nothing, except it's being hijacked for political purposes.